everybody. Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Yeah, welcome back. You guys have probably been wondering where we were. Well, well guess what? We moved. Yeah, we recently moved to Laos, guys. And for those of you that don't know where Laos is, it's a neighboring country of Thailand. It borders with Thailand, Myanmar, China, Vietnam, and Cam Cambodia. It's a landlocked country. Yes, that's correct. So, we hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Well guys, like our parents, a yeah. lot of you are probably wondering why now? Why would these guys pack up and leave Thailand to move to a country that we only just heard about? Well, funny thing is guys, we've also only heard about and discovered this country Laos when we got our job offers. Yeah. The reason why we decided to move to Laos is because we got exceptionally good job offers in Benchimen, the capital city of Laos. So that's how it all started. That's correct. Uh, part of the move, we decided to ship uh, a lot of our belongings and appliances that we had in Thailand already because we felt we don't want to start all over again in, in, in Laos. And it was also easy to use a courier company because Laos and Thailand are bordering countries. So the agents and the courier companies uh, work together uh, in the two countries. And so it was basically like five big boxes, the parcels that we ship, and that cost us around 4,000 Thai baht, which is plus minus 3,500, I mean 2,000, yes. yeah, around 2,000 Namibian dollars, all depending on the current exchange rate, of course. Yeah, so the move from, or the drive, from Lopburi to Bangkok work like this. We got a private taxi to take us from Lopburi from our old accommodation and drop us at the airport. We didn't want to take the train or the bus from Lopburi because it's quite uncomfortable with the suitcases and everything. So we just got a private taxi. It cost us about 2,000 baht, which is more or less 800 to 1,000 million dollars depending on the exchange rate. But it was so comfortable and quick, it was about two hours and the taxi dropped us right in front at the airport. So yeah. Yeah, and usually a trip from Lopuri to Bangkok by train or by bus is about uh, three to four hours. Yes. And then you still have to get take a meter taxi. meter taxi or a grab or you have to take a tuk-tuk. Yeah. And yeah. that can be costly and timely. So the private taxi was definitely the best option for us. Yes. Okay guys, so we flew out from Suvabumi International Airport in Bangkok and we actually got to the airport very early on the day of our flight. Yes, I think it was about 2 or 3 p.m. Yeah, it was around 2 p.m. that 2 we got to the airport. Okay, so when we got to the airport, uh, we immediately headed over to the ATMs, we withdrew some bot and then we exchanged it to USD because Lao mainly relies on USD and luck, the local currency. So we did that. Uh, then we went to check in our baggage and after that we decided to explore the airport a bit. Mm -hmm. So we checked out this really cool food court they have. I think it's on the top floor. No, it's actually on the first floor. First floor? Yes. Oh, so, it, so it's bottom, okay. So we checked out this really cool food court. It had everything we would want. All local cuisines, delicious Thai food. But guess what? Laos does not have a McDonald's or a KFC. So we caved and we decided to have McDonald's one last time. But it was absolutely delicious. Yes, it was delicious indeed, guys. So, uh, just quickly on the visa process. Um, so, we're actually working at two different schools here in Laos now. Um, that was quite an adjustment as well. Yes, it was indeed. And 
Rudin's school actually did uh, the visa process a bit differently to my school. Uh, she actually got a letter while we were still in Thailand. What was that letter that you got? Uh, the LA V2, I think it's the invitation letter. Yes, yes, that's the one. She got an invitation letter for her LA V2 visa while we were still in Thailand. And I had to apply for an E visa, a tourist visa to Laos. So, just quickly, uh, Laos is very straightforward and easy yeah. with the visa processes. It's much easier than Thailand. Yes, even for Namibia today, you can apply for your visa online. You get it, it gets approved like in a day or two. And I paid about $51 US dollars for my visa. And uh, yeah, at, at the airport when we arrived here in Laos, the queue for the e-visa uh, people were also very short it was like 15 minutes for me to pause and for you it was oh no it was about one to two hours and i was so tired and hungry and i had to stand in that long queue <laughs> yeah so yeah that's what the visa process was like also with her visa um, she they extended her one year work visa and stay so in country yes. after we arrived a week or two after i arrived yeah her stuff was sorted out for me on the other end i had to first leave lao again and then come back in luckily with the friendship bridge between lao and thailand it was a quick process it's about two hours and i was done and my documents are also sorted yes. out now um the nice thing is that um when we arrived in lao as well was that my school ar arranged for the driver to pick us up at the airport so we didn't have to stress about getting a taxi but to remember we don't have some cards we, we our internet is not working we have nothing so the driver picked us up brought us over to our new accommodation which the school provides oh yes so yeah it was pretty easy yes it, it was. was easier than moving to thailand yes I say. yes it was very easy and convenient guys uh, especially with routine school providing all the nice things, yes. free accommodation and the driver that picked us up. And yeah, after we checked, we got to our accommodation that evening. We just, oh my goodness. We're we just, so tired. We just hit the bed and we just slept. And the next morning we actually started, uh, we had to go get some cards. That was the very first yes. thing we did the next But it day. was so funny because <laughs> we, we didn't know how everything and also um, in Lao, they drive on the different side of the road. Yes, they drive on the right hand side of the yes. road. <laughs> so everything was so confusing. So now we had to get a taxi, but they don't have tuk tuks. It's not the same system as in yes. Thailand. Yes. So we had to get a taxi, and we don't know where to go. So we told him yes. city center. And then he just dropped us off in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, but we made it. Yeah, we managed. Um, so yeah, guys, um, some of the videos that we'll be releasing uh, in the so, future is like what the first day was like the process of first getting week, some parts our new flat yes and also getting a motorcycle in that was in such Laos. a hassle yeah that was a process on its own guys but yeah um, mm -hmm. keep on checking out our channel if you haven't subscribed yet guys please please subscribe so that you do not miss all these awesome videos coming up about house and yeah please also if you like this video please do not hesitate to hit the like button guys okay that's it for now see you guys in the next video Goodbye. bye